way right now down to Missouri, actually going to Hannibal, Missouri, to go look at a 1997 regular cab, long bed, three quarter ton Chevy uh, pickup truck with a 6.5 diesel automatic transmission. Um, it's about two and a half hours away from me one way, so hoping we'll get there by two o'clock. It's about 11.30 right now. Um, currently, uh, as of right now, I haven't found the truck I'm looking for. This is the setup, similar to the setup I'm wanting. Uh, I'd like a regular cap long bed with a five speed. Um, however, it's not too hard to throw an NB 4500 into these trucks. So I'm hoping if the frame is good on this one, it's something that I can fix up and uh, swap a five speed into. It is a four wheel drive, which is kind of what I'm looking for, especially here in the Midwest. So it should be great. Um, last night, I actually went to go look at a Savior truck, but it was a crew cab dually with the five speed 6.5 diesel, but it was a two wheel drive and it was about two hours away from me in Marshalltown, Iowa. And I drove up there. I originally had a time set up with the guy to meet at around two o'clock in the daytime in the light. And he didn't respond back, didn't respond back. Finally responded back after my rollback and canceled on me because we waited so long so I could come up and get it. So I left there and I didn't get up there last night until about eight o'clock in the evening. Uh, got up there, truck was a complete pile of crap. Not described how he said it was. Uh, said that the cab was solid, no rust and everything. And every rocker was rusting on the thing. Uh, front fenders, of course, were rocking and the frame was cracked in one spot where it wised down after the behind the motor. And then it was also rusting by the rear shackle. So it wasn't worth what he was wanting um, to me, maybe to somebody else. Um, but to me, there just wasn't a lot of good parts in it um, besides the five speed. Um, and even at that, the 6.5 had no compression and didn't run. So this truck is the exact same year, same style 6.5, GM8 style turbo. Um, however, it runs, but the starter bolts have broken off in the block, which is super common on the 6.2s and the 6.5s, especially if you don't use the bracket that goes hooks to the stud on the front of the starter and takes it to the block. There's a lot of people who tell you it doesn't matter that you don't need that starter, and then there's a lot of people that will tell you that you do. Sorry, I had to put the phone down there for the cop. Um, anyway, definitely, definitely need that bracket. Um, it helps prevent issues like that, and it could always be worse. A lot of times you can actually break off part of the block too. I had a 6.2 that the corner of the block broke off and just made it useless. Um, so I'm hoping that the existing bolts can be drilled out, retapped, and we can make it work. If not, at least I still got good parts. I know the motor can run. Um, like I said, I'm basically looking for a chassis, not for a running truck. The guy wants 500 bucks for it. It's a little dented up. The body's not a huge issue, but if it's fixable, that would be great. Um, if not, I can always just find a rust-free body and throw it on. So we're gonna head down there, just leave it now. We'll see you down in Missouri. All right, guys, just made it down here to Hannibal, Missouri. Apparently the guy who I'm meeting lives 25 minutes away and has some weird story, blah, 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 whatever, says he's going to be here in 25 minutes. So he gave me the address of like a hotel, something like that, and a Dollar General. So we're just chilling here, waiting for him, and hopefully go out to the truck. All right, guys. Well, we got it. It ended up being a pain in the butt, but nonetheless, got it. He originally wanted three grand for it. He lowered it to two grand. I asked him what he'd take today. He said 500. I got here and I offered 300 and he took it. So it's worth that in parts. So now suburban squatting a little bit, but I think we'll be all right. Take it home nice and slow. And there's the tone company, has a sweet old wrecker. Really, really cool looking old thing. So time to head back to Iowa. Hey guys, what's going on? It's the next day and I got the truck unloaded. Figured we'd go through it, kind of show off what we got going on here. So, it's, it's dirty. Um, like I said, I bought it for 300 bucks, so you can't expect a whole lot of quality out of something 300 bucks. Um, it says 343,000, but I know for damn sure that I guarantee you this 6.5 doesn't have that mileage on it. I don't think it'd be running. Um, well, which I guess it's not running, but that's separate note. Um, seat is obviously torn to crap, not treated well, and it's crappy 90s 
front seat. So my plan is to fix this truck up, um, not to restore it. I originally thought it'd be great to put a five speed in and do the MV4500 swap and put a different body on, but I just think it's, I don't think this one's worth the effort. I'd rather just find one that's already set up for five speed and just do it a lot easier. Um, like I said, overall, not too terrible bad. The box would be great if it didn't have this dent in it right here. Kind of see it. Could probably be pulled out, but I'm not sure that'd be worth it. Um, all the tires are shot for sure. Back end's dusty, dirty, covered in grease. Has a custom toolbox in the back. Go ahead and take a look under the hood. Front grill's not bad. Dirty, but not bad. It is a 97. 6.5 actually has the factory Borg Warner turbo on it surprisingly um, claims that the batteries are fairly new they look dirty as crap but they do hold charge so that's all that matters um, right now it does not run the starter bolts are actually broke off it doesn't have the little L bracket which I can't show right now because I don't have one um, actually yes I do um, uh, I do have one of those L brackets maybe I can show you here in a sec Because a lot of people don't know that you need it. Um, I think I have one right here. So what happens is the starter, I'll, I'll, I can show you on the starter too. So on the starter, the way this mounts is we'll pretend this wall is the block. This goes into the bell housing and there's a stud, not this one. Um, well, it's gone. Um, anyway, it mounts right to this ear, right here. And essentially, this hole goes, goes on the block, it's kind of at an angle, and then this bolts right to there. And that's essentially a third support, especially during cold starts when these things are really cranking out the torque. Um, granted, I don't have one of these. I'm actually running the gear reduction starter. I'll try and show you on my Suburban. This bracket. Yeah, it might be too dark in here to see. Yeah, it is. Anyway, running the gear reduction starter on that one. So, night and day difference over the factory one. But anyway, what has happened on this one is they didn't have the bracket and they used, they reused old GM factory ones, which are soft and they broke off. So, don't know. One's still in there, but the other one's broke off. It appears that it's sticking out just a little bit, so there might be still a way to fix that, hopefully. But definitely need that bracket on there. Oily under here, that's for sure. But passenger side has little dents in it, but it does have a clean title. And like I said, there's $300 worth of parts here that I can use batteries are worth something to me and like i said if i can get that starter problem fixed i'm gonna throw that other bracket on here get it running again and probably send it on its way so but definitely want to get a video for you guys not quite such a fun trip going down to missouri but nonetheless got a cheap truck so we'll keep you in touch have a good one